Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about doctor's jobs in Luxembourg. So let's get started. So first of all, let's see how you can become a doctor in Luxembourg because I assume most of you watching me probably didn't get your degree in Luxembourg. So let's check out first the website from the government that shows you everything about it. So let me share my screen and let's see what do you need. I have to say I was very surprised how easy it seems to be to become a doctor in Luxembourg and then to obviously find a job. So if I'm looking down, that means I'm looking at my computer, so totally don't mind me. But yeah, this on this website, this is like a government website, Gutrecht LU, and you can see all the information here about it. So basically to become a general or specialist medical practitioner, you need a license from a Ministry of Health. And this is who can get it and how does it work. So for sure, there are a few different procedures for people who are from European Union, for people who are from European Union area, which is, for example, Iceland, Liechtenstein or Norway or Switzerland, or for people who are from the third country. For people who are from the third country, unfortunately, you need a residence permit or you will have to be granted the international protection. So that's definitely already more difficult process for you, but still, it doesn't seem that difficult, as you could have imagined how difficult it might be to become a doctor if you're not from European Union or your area. So here you have some requirements. Of course, you have to satisfy the ethics, good repute and physical and mental health requirements. Then uh, the most difficult part of all the jobs that are not, let's say, English-based based jobs, you will have to show your language skills necessary for the practice in Luxembourg. And unfortunately, that means one of the languages French, German or Luxembourgish, but that will be a little bit later. So for general practitioner, you need a conventional doctor's diploma and a diploma attesting to specify training in, in general medicine. Or to become a specialist medical practitioner in Luxembourg, you will need a conventional doctor's diploma and a diploma attesting to a medical specialization. So that's common sense of what you need in that way. Then you have to do some preliminary steps from which there will be a recognition of foreign diploma. If you didn't get your diploma in European Union, the, the diploma confirms the European Union standards or corresponding to the one of the specified diplomas that are in the bracket. So you can read it through over here. Then uh, if your diploma was obtained in the third country, then there's a little bit different process. You need to recognize your diploma and there is the full recognition process described how it works. Then we go to the amazing part of languages. Unfortunately, you will need to prove your language if your mother tongue is not French, German or Luxembourgish. And then you will need minimum level of B2 of German or French, which is actually not that terrible. I would say there are much worse cases of languages. So maybe you would need C1 level, which is already super high. But I would say B2 is technically available at least in my opinion. And then you have specific certificates for all these languages. Or if you have a proof that you were working in French or German speaking countries, then you don't need that diploma. For sure, French would be super nice for any French colonies that you already speak French. That would be a huge pro for you if you already worked in a country like this or you're from a country that speaks French. Of course, German the same. But as I said, it's only B2. I mean, only. It's better than C1. And then if you decide to do Luxembourgish, which I assume most of the people don't decide, you also have to check the National Institute of, uh, for Languages Luxembourg. Then the cost for the license is 450 euro. I would never say that you have to pay for that thing, but if you have to pay, it doesn't seem that terrible. So the, there are some information about it, but just my opinion, if you know what are the prices in other countries, let me know in the comments down below. Always appreciating to know something new. Then how you proceed. You need to apply for the license, through the website, there are some specific process, then you may need some supporting documents that are listed here for different European Union or non-European Union, so you can read it through. Then you need some translations, and it may take some time between three weeks to three months to process your documents, and it will be sent to you by post. So this is how it's gonna be. Then there is our lapsing of the license and renewal, so you can read it through as well. I'm not gonna read it to you and your obligations and what may happen. So yeah, so that's basically it, I would say. But then there is this part of a declaration of temporary practicing. You have sufficient proficiency in German or, and French, and you have to have administrative knowledge of all the three languages, which means as well Luxembourgish. And that's it. Now we can move to the job posts and then we're going to move to the salaries. You can already see this website with the job posts, but I can already tell you, and we will take a look a little bit later, 
it's also very profitable to look at the jobs at the place that may concern you so for example the hospital website where you're gonna go to careers and we're gonna go later on here but let's start with a few job posts this one medination was supposedly the first tool to find uh, medical jobs but I don't know there were not so 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 many jobs so yeah so for sure this one center hospitalier neuro psychiatric this is for the doctors in training to become specialists in psychiatry and psycho psychotherapy and your profile you have a license so that's what we spoke about uh, a few seconds ago you are enjoying working with mentally ill people you work responsibly and patient oriented and you have a knowledge of german knowledge of french is not required also very nice note i didn't find any job posts in english so all of them are translated through the google translator here like this one from germany there is some stuff that they are offering so you can read it through so that's the first job post most of the job posts are very short so be prepared for that palliative care doctor actually what is palliative doctor. Interdisciplinary me uh, medical caregiving approach aimed at optimizing quality of life and mitigating suffering among people with serious complex and often terminal illnesses. Okay, so the doctor for that. Here are your tasks and your profile. Hold a doctor's degree. There is, of course, a certified by Luxembourg. You have an empathetic and responsible relationship with patients. You demonstrate agility, resistance to stress and team spirit, and you are fluent in German, French, and English. Knowledge of Luxembourgish is an asset. So this one requires a lot of languages and here is some stuff that they offer. I also found dental assistance which is also in my opinion quite interesting to see so maybe let's just I'm not gonna read it but like let's uh, give it as an option. Next one occupational physician this one is for the Grand Ducal Fire and Rescue Corps and your skills demonstrate a sense of organization, responsiveness, a spirit of uh, synthesis and analysis, demonstrate rigor and a scientific interest, technical knowledge in occupational medicine, knowledge of legislation of occupational medicine in Luxembourg, ability to use electronic patient records. You have a specialization in occupational medicine, you have at least two years of experience, specialization or training in environmental medicine, sport, nutrition, or psychological therapist, have practical experience in pre-hospital or hospital medicine, have an understanding of a spirit of volunteerism, and having a B-driving license. And there are some uh, information about the diploma and uh, knowledge of the languages and this one you have to be a EU state member citizen and also you need to know three administrative language of Luxembourg. Next one, physician assistant, doctor in further training. Okay, here's some information about the place, tasks, you can always pause the video to read it through and your profile studies in human medicine, license to practice medicine, uh, license from Luxembourg, good relationship with patients, independence, organizational skills, high social and communicative competences, ability to communicate eff effectively, interest in research and teaching, good knowledge of German and or French, and very good knowledge of English, and willingness to improve your language skills, safe uh, handling of computer and common softwares. That's actually super interesting for me because most of the doctor's jobs actually wanted German, which is very unpopular in any other jobs that we looked through last few weeks. So French was normally on the top. Here I could say that German is uh, a little bit more popular. Okay, doctor's assistant. Let's just put it through, but even the languages are are required this time. French and Luxembourgish and German is a diploma uh, is an asset. This one needs a nursing diploma. Next one, doctor specialist in pneumonology. You need master's, PhD, or postdoc. Your profile is a doctor's degree in specialization with specialization in pneumonology. You uh, have excellent skills in general pneumonology. You have at least master's two languages, French, German, plus minus English, and you are willing to familiarize yourself with Luxembourgish, <laughs> of course. What do they offer? And that's basically it. Physician specialist in cardiology profile, doctor's degree in cardiology with the license, a knowledge of French, and at least one of additional languages, German, Luxembourgish, or English. So here French is a little bit more important, but that's usual in the Luxembourg Hospital Center, which we're going to take a look at the website in a few job posts. Next one, medical secretary. Let me just read it throughout. It's not really, let's say, doctor's job, but you can always pause to see what you may need. Occupational, physician, task, profile. That's a lot of them, so I'm not going to just read them. You can pause the video. Then doctor, there are some tasks and then the profile. 
medical knowledge, in-depth knowledge and, uh, of legal and uh, ethical framework of medical practice, knowledge of health systems, Microsoft's office, uh, document research techniques, project management, evidence-based reasoning, English at least. Then there are some behavioral skills. Next one, cardiologist, and your profile should be specialty, a specialty in cardiology, permission to work in Luxembourg as a doctor. You have an in-depth expertise of, of several years in inventional cardiology, overpowering all aspects of coronary uh, pathology, in particular urgent SCA, state of shock, cardiac arrest. You have a good interpersonal skills and multidisciplinary uh, in a multidisciplinary team. Flexibility and adapti uh, adaptability, knowledge of French languages, mandatory. And now we move to the website of the CHL. Uh, that is a hospital in Luxembourg City, um, Strassen Bel Air area, and there are some job posts. I opened some of them, but just so you can take a look, let me scroll down. So there are many, many different options from like more uh, administrative to medical. And let's uh, read through the few of them. Uh, doctor specializing in orthopedics and traumatology, but as you can see, I haven't found some of the job posts in the other places. So it's very good to also uh, visit this website. So this is your profile training in orthopedics and traumatology, permission to work as a doctor, additional qualification in sports medicine, and knowledge in conservative and surgical treatment of sport injuries. You have a professional experience in sport medicine. You show dynamism and ability to integrate. You, you know how to work in a team. You have an interest in commitment and uh, management and teaching students and assistants, and you are fluent in three languages, French, German, and English. So you don't need a Luxembourgish, but it would be an asset. So this is what they offer. And the uh, social responsible. Let's go to another one in C CHL. Specialist in pediatric surgery. So pediatric surgery license, some skills in pediatric surgery, good personal bonds and good intrapersonal skills to work in a team. Uh, fluent in French, ideally English and or German, and you want to learn Luxembourgish. So as you can see, for example, this hospital puts more into French, but other languages are not always required, but sometimes, and sometimes English is enough, but sometimes you need also German, and most of the times you need to want to learn Luxembourgish. And there's some other information over here. And also it's super nice that you can actually uh, contact someone who is from the field. That this time head of pediatric surgery, specialist in radiology, uh, diploma, and then knowledge of at least one of the official languages of the countries so of French, German, or Luxembourgish. Their offer and the person to contact, specialist in pediatrics for maternity. Again, the profile, their offer. So that's a little bit of the information you may need. You can always pause it. Then the last few job posts will be from Jobs LO. There are two occupational physician. I'm just gonna scroll it through so you can take a look so we don't waste our time. This one is ergotherapy. This one is I think in French. So let me just quickly scroll it through. This is LNS. That was another place that was very popular and it's not only hospital so you have a lot of uh, stuff for uh, chemists or uh, microbiologists or pharmacists. So this one is for sure an option for someone else, but let's check out the doctor's job. So this one, for example, again, I'm not going to read it through. You can read it through and then admit and then another type that you can read through. And with this, we finished the job posts. There are quite few, I'm actually very surprised. And now we can move to the salaries. So I opened a few websites. First one is Salary Expert, and it claims that average base salary in Luxembourg for doctors is 232,000 per year with an average hourly rate for of 111 euro, almost 112, uh, average bonus of almost 10K. The entry is, 157k and the senior is 301. So this is a little bit of the information for the doctors. Let's see if it covers with the other jobs. Okay, I opened this one, but it requires me to put the survey. So basically it claims that it's around 53, 54,000 euro per year, but only there are three salaries. So let's go to the doctor physician average salary in Luxembourg from Salary Explorer. So this one claims that 
they gain around 11.6 thousand per month, which gives us almost 140 thousand per year, with the lowest end of 4.2 and the highest end of 19.5k per month. There's some information about different job titles, so you can read it through. Always pause without any issues, so you can also choose the most uh, suitable for you position and check it out. But the salaries look very, very nice for monthly salary, which is not surprising. I would say doctors are well paid more or less everywhere, unless it's super national care that you are paid by government and maybe you're not paid the best. 25% of employees earn less than 8K per month, which is super nice, I have to say. A little bit of information about the median, pay structure, then a little bit of the information how you can increase your salary. So there are big jumps between two to two to five years of experience and between five and 10 years of experience. That's for sure the biggest jump. Then next, we can take a look on the gender comparison. So male are gaining 4% more than female in that field, which is more or less like Luxembourgish average. And as a doctor on average, you will see 12% increase in your salary every 16 months, which is uh, a little bit better than Luxembourg because normally you get 8% every 17 months. So this is a good information for you. And I think that it's quite nice salary to be a doctor. As I said, you can either look it through, through the websites or you can use the a website of the place you want to work in. Definitely you have to search for the job post that will be suitable for you. As we saw, we only saw three or four specializations and also there's an option. However, I don't know how, maybe if you're very interested, I can look it through. So let me know in the comments down below, but you can always open your private practice. So that's more or less how you go to the doctor here. If you have, for example, a general doctor or a gynecologist or a cardiologist, you usually go to their own office and them and maybe a secretary and that's it. They don't really have such a huge team. So that's definitely also an option. Uh, I don't know how to obtain it, but if you want me to check it out, I can try to look through it. And yeah, remember about the languages, remember about the licenses or diploma that you have to recognize. So all that information, as I told you, but then if you go through all of it, you should have a nice salary in Luxembourg, which is a good sign. So let me know in the comments below, what are you interested in about the jobs? If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Or if you don't, you can just say hello and say where you're from. And if you're coming to Luxembourg anytime soon. So if you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you would hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Luxembourg, living here, working here, salaries and expenses. So if you enjoy this type of topics or you are thinking about moving to Luxembourg, remember to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my future videos. And here I will be the video about jobs in demand in Luxembourg and the Luxembourgish jobs playlist. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.